Hi friends, let's see our next hacker rank problem which is divisible sum pairs. So here, so the difficulty level of this particular problem is easy and the max score is 10. So let's go into the problem statement. So here the problem statement is so given an array of integers okay and the positive integer k that means they have given an array of integers and a positive integer k. So here we are supposed to identify the number of pairs in which they have given a mentioned a condition that whereas let's say i comma j where i is less than j and array of i plus array of j is divisible by k okay so here let me explain this particular example clearly so that you can able to understand in a very uh, easier way so here they have given array of length 6 which consists of an elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here and the k value they have given is 5 so in simple the problem statement is it is very clear and very simple that we are supposed to identify the number of pairs as you all know that pair means two elements okay two elements we will be calling it as a pair so here we are supposed to identify the total number of pairs in which the sum of elements in the pair that means the sum of two elements in the pair is divisible by the given k value okay so here here if you observe this particular array so we are supposed to identify the pairs in which the sum of elements in the pair is divisible by this particular k value which is 5. So here there are three pairs in the given array. So those those pairs are 1 comma 4, so 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 6. So here if you observe as per the condition, so here i comma z where i value is for an example in this particular case the i value is going to be 1 and the z value is going to be 4 so here if you observe i is less than j that means this particular condition is getting satisfied and another condition is like array of i plus array of j that means the 1 plus 4 is divisible by 5 that means 1 plus 5 is 5 so 5 is divisible by 5 and the remainder is going to be 0 so this is a pair which satisfies the given condition similarly 2 comma 3 so here i value is going to be 2 and j value is going to be 3 whereas i is less than j that means 2 is less than 3 which is correct and the second condition is 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 so 5 divisible by 5 which is equals to remainder 0 so this is the pair which meets the given condition and the next pair is going to be 4 comma 6 so here i value is going to be 4 and j value is going to be 6 where 4 is less than 6 so which meets the condition and the second condition is 4 plus 6 so 4 plus 6 is going to be 10 and 10 divisible by 5 so the remainder is going to be 0 so these are the three pairs which meet the condition okay so similarly we are supposed to identify the sum of all the pairs which meets the given condition okay so here they have given that means like uh, they have given integer n so whereas n represents the length of an array and array is nothing but the array of integers and k is represents the positive integer which is given over here okay so now how we are going to solve this particular problem okay so let's go for the approach once we are key clear with the approach then we will go for the problem that means we will go for the coding yeah so how to proceed with this one so here my approach is like it is very simple so here initially I am going to take a for loop okay so this particular for loop which runs from first element to the n minus one element okay so whereas here the length of the array which is going to be 6 which is where we will be considering it as n so n is going to be 6 okay so here I am going to take the first loop in such a way that first element to the last minus one element that means n minus one element okay and the second array I am going to take another for loop which runs from the second that means the index value 1 to the last index value okay so it is going to be a bit complex if you are discussing in this way so let us go into the code and you can understand how the things works actually okay so let's start coding so here as usual I have selected the language as JavaScript uh, so let me select the side by side view 
so it will be easier for us to go through the problem statement and we will go for the coding parallelly so as usual let's check what the input is my bad console so console dot log of n comma k comma an so first of all let us check what are all the given parameters okay so let us see so the n value is going to be 6 which is nothing but the length of the array and k is nothing but the positive integer and here is nothing but the given array okay so these are all the three values which they have given in the problem statement so we can go with the solution yeah so here so finally we are going to count how many such pairs are available which satisfies the given condition so I will start with the count value initially so let me take the count value is equals to 0 initially okay so now what I am going to do is like I am as I said earlier I am going to take two for loops okay so first for loop runs from first term that means index value 0 to the n minus that means the last minus one element okay last but one element so let me go with this way so once I have written the two for loops then it will be very much easier to understand how the things work so let i is equals to 0 i is less than n minus 1 because n is nothing but the length of the array as I, as I have shown here so here i is missing yeah i plus plus so let me take the second for loop let j is nothing but i plus 1 j is less than n yeah so now let us see how this condition works okay so here I'm, I have taken two for loops okay let us see for the first for loop okay how it will be so initially as you all know that array value starts with the index 0 here the index value in array always starts from 0 okay 0 so here I have taken from i is equals to 0 to i is less than n minus 1 okay as we all know the n that means the length of the array in the given problem statement that means in the given test condition is going to be 6 as we have seen here so how it works so we will see so here n minus 1 that means 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 is 5 i is less than 5 i is less than 5 means it will break if any value is equals to 5 that means it will accept with, uh, for the values which are less than 5 that means i is equal to 0 to i is equals to 4 now how the first loop works okay so first loop the first for loop runs from i is equals to 0 to i is equals to 4 that means here index 0 1 2 3 4 okay so as I said earlier the first for loop runs from the first element to the last but one element so here I am going to run from i is equal to 0 to this particular n minus 1 which is the last but one element now I am going to take the second for loop in such a way that j is equals to i plus 1 to j is less than n that means as here they have mentioned the condition that i value must be less than j that means j value must be greater than i so I am going to take the j value okay which is i plus 1 say for an example whenever the i for an example say for i is equals to 0 so in this case the j value will be 0 plus 1 which is going to 1 okay so it goes in such a way the i value is going to be less than the j value okay now let us discuss here so let's see what's the problem statement is for an example if array of i okay so if array of uh, let me take let me keep it in the yeah inside the bracket so array of i array of j okay which is divisible by k is equals to 0 that means here we are going to say in such a way that first I am going to take i is equals to 0 i is equals to is nothing but 1 okay so for the single value I am going to check for rest of the values because j value starts from i is equals to 1 to i is less than n okay thus that means when i is equals to 0 j value runs from 1 to 5 
okay so for an example for the each element we are going to check with rest of the elements similarly for 1 i is equals to 0 that means for 1 i am going to check with 2 3 4 5 6 okay similarly when i is equals to 1 i is equal to 1 is nothing but for this particular 2 i am going to check this 2 with rest of the values 3 4 5 6 similarly for 3 i am going to check with the rest of the values similarly for 4 i am going to check with 5 and 6 similarly for 5 i am going to check with 6 okay so this is my approach uh, friends as i told earlier for each and every uh, problem there must be n number of solutions i am just considering one of the simple solution so there might be this is not the only solution there might be n number of solutions okay so this is just my approach and similarly there are multiple approaches available so i am just following the basic very basic approach and it is so that you can able to give the clean solution and everyone can able to understand the solution so i am i will consider this particular approach to solve the problem so in such case what i am doing whenever the i press that means definitely since you are writing the two for loops in such a way so obviously it will satisfy the first condition where i value is less than j so here and one more thing you are writing that here i value that means array of i plus array of j must be divisible by k so i am checking for the divisible condition as well okay oh, so whenever the remainder is getting zero in that case i am just increasing the count and finally i am going to return the count so this is what it is asked for so let me run the code and check how it works yeah the basics uh, test case is getting passed so let me submit the code and test for all test all the other test cases Yeah, it passed yeah there are total 19 test cases so my solution passed all the test cases and i won 10 points okay so this is a very clean approach and you can try with other solutions as well thank you we'll continue with uh, more problems in the next session